All right, I'm gonna make a video showing how to test a, a battery with a digital voltmeter. And that's all you need. Now, I'm gonna use the voltmeter that's built into this battery pack, but you can see it's turned off. Um, so even though the cables are hooked up, all they're doing is monitoring the voltage right now. I'm not applying any power to it. And you can see currently it's charging fine. The alternator is working good. It's trying to charge this battery. But we've been having problems with if the, if the, if the van sits for a couple of days, uh, the battery will be dead. Also, like if you leave a dome light on for a couple minutes, it, it doesn't die, or, you know, it'll be dead. But it still starts. Um, and I'm going to show you that in a second. And the way I test batteries with a, with a voltmeter, and it's very, very accurate, is while cranking, the voltage should not drop below, it really shouldn't drop below like 11, 11, 11 or 11 and a half would be a decent battery. If it drops into the 10, 10.5 and below, um, a vehicle, a car will even start if it drops down into the nines. Um, but a good battery won't drop below like 11 while you're cranking on it. Uh, and one that does, if you start getting the 10.5s and the 10s, um, even if the voltage, at, when you go to start it, if it's reading like 13 volts, if it drops below like 10 and a half, that, that means that battery doesn't have um, the cranking amps that it should. There's a big difference between voltage and cranking amps. Uh, and so a battery like that that drops below 10.5 while cranking would be a, one that you wouldn't want to like sit somewhere with your uh, Ignition on listen to the radio for a couple minutes You wouldn't want to be doing anything and, and you're gonna really see the effects of it when it gets cold out and that's what's happening now It's getting cold out and um, This battery is no good, but I'm gonna show you why so go ahead and shut it down All right, So you just turned it off and you'll see the right now it's 13.5 and as it sits here for a little bit it would drop you know at least down to 12 but go ahead and crank it see how it dropped down to like 10.4 alright turn it off again alright so as this sits here, it would get down to like 12 volts after an hour or so. So, uh, turn the headlights on for a second. We're going to go ahead and simulate that hour of sitting here and get it down to where it would be. So he's got the headlights on. You can see the voltage is rapidly dropping. We'll let it get down to 12. Alright, headlights off. Alright, so we're at 12.5 now. Now it's still going to start most likely, but you'll see it's going to drop probably below the 10.4 it just did. Go ahead. Alright, so we had a 7.7 .7 volt start right there. It still started, but that's a bad, real bad battery. And it's one that you can use if you dry it, you know, if you start it daily and use it daily and you're constantly charging it and you're not using any power, you don't have chargers plugged in for your phones and stuff like that. Um, you know, day to day you can get by with it and it sounds like it's working okay, but then all of a sudden it's just not going to work. There's going to be a day where it's, it was a night where it was too cold or um, you were sitting in a parking lot with your foot on the brake for too long and it's just not going to start. Anyway, that's, uh, that's how I test batteries using a voltmeter. And it's, it, it works every time. It's very accurate. If you're having questionable, you know, uh, uh, questions about your battery, how good it is, because sometimes it doesn't start, other times it does. If you put a voltmeter on it and it drops below 10.5, I would get ready to replace that battery as soon as you can. All right, bye.